think, you know, if you look back and you look at Formula One, there's only one person you think of. Yes, there are lots of star drivers, lots of wonderful motor cars, but if there's one person, the most influential person in the success that Formula, is, Formula One is today, it's Bernie Eccleston, and I don't think there's any dispute about that. In motor racing terms, this is a rock concert. Mm. The members of the club, and I know there are other people who would have loved to have been here tonight and weren't able to get, uh, get a ticket. So a very special evening and a very appropriate uh, dinner tonight to honour what Benny Eccleston has contributed to Formula One. It never felt like a boss-employee relationship. It was more like a friendship, really. And Brabham was a family even then. You know, there were 14 of us. Uh, on the technical side, 17 altogether. And don't forget when Bernie joined us, we were doing um, 60 production cars a year, making Formula 2, Formula 3 cars. I did an IndyCar study and Formula 1, all with 14 people. So it was much more like a family. And he never felt like a boss. He felt you know, more like a friend. I think the good thing about owning the team, at least you know on Sunday whether you've done a good job or not. Yeah, that's true. Whereas when I was doing things, you know, Looking after everything, more or less, you never quite knew whether you were successful or not. Just trying to make sure there was, everyone was happy and things. We, we were doing what we're supposed to do. We're probably dealing with people that weren't the business people, but were people influential people that could make things happen or not. Mm. I always used to say, I want to deal with the people that can turn the lights on and off. There's only people like Monza and Monaco, which were old races, Silverstone, in a funny way. But we sort of changed a lot of things, even the older races. They needed to be brought up to date with everything. The races, I suppose you could say, Singapore was an important event. I was 30 years trying to get that race together before we started, because, you know, we said it couldn't happen. It, you know, to make the race in the streets and close down Singapore, basically, which is what. And Russia was another place I was happy to achieve to get that work in. But, so most of the races, I've been pleased that we've managed to get them. What would you have done with your life, Max, if Formula One hadn't happened? Bernie? Well, I think he would have been a barrister and I'd have been a used car dealer. <laughs>